Hi guys, this is Pestilion. Welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm covering the five things I wish I knew when I started playing Escape from Tarkov. It's going to cover some tips and tricks and just a way to make it so you have a better, like, run off the bat. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So the first one I have is knowledge will win you more fights than skill. You see people like Shroud, Summit, Dr. Disrespect, they all come across to Escape from Tarkov and the first thing they do is they get smacked fucking hard. You can have the best aim in this game, but if you don't know what you're doing, you, you're going to struggle. Uh, there is a, there's so much information in this game out there already. There's guides that I've made. There's other guides other people have made. And there is a heap of information out there. And you should try to absorb as much as possible. Learning about the maps. Learning extracts. Learning angles and places that you can pick people uh, from. Learning where better uh, high ground is to, you know, to take shots on people. Also, stuff like where to get money from and all those little things that you can just learn about the game. It's all going to make the game a lot better experience for you. The amount of people who will either come in my stream or we talk to me like, holy shit, I didn't even know that. You know, like there's there's certain key binds and commands like that you can, you can do. Like Alt-T will like check your mag or... Just like scrolling the mouse wheel will make you walk slower and, and faster. Caps lock will instantly make you go as slow as possible. There is just a million things out there that this game is so in-depth. And even myself, with the amount of hours I've put in this game, I don't know exactly how many hours, but I've streamed for nearly 5,000 hours on Escape from Tarkov. I'm still learning stuff every day. And even at the moment, I'm still pushing myself to learn other things that I, I just learned today. So what I can say here is, guys, the more information you'll find, the better you'll be at the game. You look at someone like Shroud when he first started playing the game or, or Summit, they were getting smacked around heaps. They had times where they weren't enjoying it. Okay, give it that there was a lot of desync and lag when they first started playing. But now they're really proficient at the game and they're very good at the game. That's just a, an easy example of people that you may know, but it's it's over the, across the board. There are so many people out there when they start playing the game, even including myself, that got smacked around hard. And as you learn more about the game, you get a lot better. So it's not like a game that you can pick up and straight away you're going to be kicking ass straight away because there's just people that are going to know more how the games work, the mechanics of the game work, and yeah, one of those things. Point number two, ammo is more important than the gun. Now, I've already got an ammo guide out there, but I'm actually going to remake one. It'll be up to date with all the latest stuff about ammunition, but there is two major values that you need to pay attention for with ammunition. Either the penetration value or the damage value. If you're going for penetration value, uh, then you want to aim for the head or the chest. If you're going for the damage value, you're going for the legs. Unless they're not wearing armor, and if you can tell that, then you can go for the chest. But honestly, guys, ammunition is more important than the gun. You could have the shittest gun in the game, but with the best ammo, and it will drop people so much faster than rolling a HK with like really, really crappy ammo, like maybe like HP or something, trying to shoot them in the chest and you're doing absolutely zero damage. That is probably one of the biggest points that people don't even know about. When they first start playing, they'll pick up a gun and be like, oh, I've got this awesome AK, it's pimped out. And then they'll load the magazine up with like PRS ammo, which on the ammunition, it says like special forces use this ammo. But like really, it's one of the worst ammos in the game. And then they'll go into a raid, they'll shoot someone like, oh my God, why didn't I kill him? It's because they were using shit ammo. If you ever need the chart really quickly, my Twitch chat, exclamation mark ammo, otherwise on my Discord, or I'll put a link down below to the Wikipedia ammo chart. Now, there are other ammo charts out there. The No Food After Midnight one's really detailed. Tells you what type of ammo will do what type of effect against different classes of armor. The only reason why I always pick the Wikipedia guys chart is it's always up to date. They have the latest in, um, they, they data mine the information pretty much, and they get, the values, as soon as they change, they update the chart and it's always up to date within probably a few hours of a change happening. Whereas uh, someone like No Food After Midnight, he's one guy trying to do a, a world of work and he does an amazing job, but definitely worth checking out his chart if you want to find that more detailed information. Ammo is more important than the gun. Number three, tasks will level you faster. A lot of people, when they play the game, they just kind of like fumble around with no real objective. Personally, when I play the game, every time I go into a raid, I have an objective. So I'll pick a, a, a task that I haven't done yet, and I'll be like, sweet, I'm going to try and get this task done. Now, when I'm in the raid, something might happen. I might get shot up, and I might need an ex extract, or I might get distracted by a big fight, and that goes down, and I might not do the task. Always have in the back of your mind, hey, when I'm going to the next customs raid, I could go pick up this item and get that task done. And it's like a little bonus that will give you that little extra XP. Level up your traders, it will give you like... Uh, items sometimes 
and the availability to purchase certain items from traders as well. So early on tasks don't give a lot of XP. Later on tasks can give up to like 30,000 XP. So you can get those traders unlocked. Now, there's no requirement to level up at all for any reason besides the fact that, you know, level five, you need the flea market and you could buy items off the flea market. I will always suggest people to do the task because the more times you do them as well, the faster you'll be able to get through them. Now, point number four, it's okay to die. And with every death comes experience. Even the most skillful players, like the guys up there, like Ghost Freak, Warren, uh, Quattro Ace, they die. It's part of Escape from Tarkov. Some people play very slow and methodical, will have like a really uh, high survival rate. They'll play in a squad of five men. So even when one of them in the team does die, the other four survive. And you'll see people that might have like 70 or 80% survival rates. There's a lot of solo players out there that will have really low survival rates, but they, they play very aggressive and have a lot of fun doing it. Just remember, guys, this is a game and it's to be to be fun. Even though Nikita makes the joke that Escape from Tarkov is not meant to be fun, it, it's more important to just enjoy the game than worry about a silly survival rate. Um, people commonly ask me, what's your survival rate? And I think it's usually around the 50 to 60% mark, but I do play pretty silly. Like I do a lot of things that no one would ever do purely for the fact that I just find it fun. And don't get wrapped up in survival rates, you know, how like everyone else is doing because survival rates can be really influenced by how you, your play style is. Like I said before, a person that only plays in a five-man squad with full gear every time is going to have a lot better survival rate than that solo guy that goes in fully geared or that, that, those, that duo that goes in and they're just running around with pistols just trying to do a zero-to-hero run. It makes a big difference uh, on the survival rate. Don't care. Don't even bother wasting your time looking at it. Don't even bother wasting your time asking people about it because it's just pointless. It's not a competitive game down that way and in that in that aspect. So just understand, guys, it's perfectly fine to die. Have fun and you will die a lot. I die a lot. Everyone dies a lot. It's Escape from Tarkov. No one's escaped yet. We all die. Point number five and my final point, learn a way to make money. In Escape from Tarkov, you can go in fully geared and get one tapped in the head and you've just wasted like up to a million rubles in, in a loadout. And then you can go in with like a pistol and then come out with that million rubles because you got that guy in the face that had all that gear on. It is a very brutal game and you're going to lose a lot of money at times and you're going to be able to make money as well. The point I want to make here is learn a way to make money. Now, some people flip items on the flea market. At level five, you'll unlock the flea market. You can start flipping items and it's really good to, you know, make money that way. And it's a perfectly acceptable way of doing it. I have a few money runs that I, I advertise because personally, I think there's nothing wrong with going in with a pistol and a backpack and or a rig, trying to make some money and get out. And that's your whole purpose of the raid. Going back to the point on uh, having the task when you go into a raid, it's all right to have a purpose of I'm going into this raid to make money. Now, I don't advertise people should do hatchet runs, but I understand when people get so broke that they don't really even have a choice. Like they could get like a, a mackerel with shitty ammo, but they're like really struggling to even to like afford that. There's no no problem with doing a hatchet run, even for the zero to hero aspect. My only point is if you're going to do a hatchet run, try and run straight to weapon crates and, and get uh, a gun from them. So at least you can kill someone. There is no point going into a raid and having no way of killing someone. I think... That's why I always take in a pistol. You know, my go-to pistol is a Grach, but a 5.7 is really powerful now as well. A little bit more expensive, but the uh, the Grach, I think, is from uh, Prepper Level 2 with our PST GZH ammo, and you can get through a fair few face shields with that, or you can use the AP 6.3, and we'll get through a lot of the face shields, but it's, uh, to me personally, a pistol. The amount of times I've dropped a geared guy in the face while doing a, a, a money run, taking their gear, running out of the raid with uh, all the loot that I was grabbing as well, and make an absolute bang from doing it. Guys, money runs are a good thing. Find a way to make some money. It, when you do go in fully geared and then you die, you know it doesn't matter. It, and this, this plays off your gear for you guys. It doesn't matter if you die because you know how to go back into a raid and make some more money. I, I will slowly touch on with that point there. It, this is your biggest way of fixing your gear fear. Knowing the fact that if you lose some gear, you can get it back. That is probably the, the biggest solution on gear fear. That's not really a point that I want to make here, but yeah, learn a way to make money. I'll put a link down below to my three money runs that I do. They still work. They're still perfectly fine. Some require keys, some don't. And it's, it's personally up to you. you, you there's, there's so many ways to make money in Escape from Tarkov. And yeah, 
So guys, I'm going to finish up this video here. I wanted to try and keep it as short as possible with as much information as possible. But I understand that um, there's, there's a lot of information. It's like point number one. Uh, knowledge will win you more fights than skill. So guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I do stream on Twitch every day of the week. So go down the link below. Give me a follow over there. If you got any Tarkov questions, feel free to hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. And hail a more dog. And hail a more dog. Oh, 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 oh. And hail a more dog.